Good afternoon, folks, and happy Sunday to y'all. This is Washington State Picker. I haven't made a video in a while, and uh, in my absence, I've been collecting a few locks. And uh, really excited to tell you about them. Found a guy on eBay that sells old locks. As you can see, I got a couple of Yales, Corbins, some no name Chinese crap. I got this Slaymaker here. It's one of the ones I can read. It is really a neat lock, but I'm not quite sure. Must take a dual, uh, what do you call that? Not a skeleton key, but a, uh, oh heck, having a hard time. Two sided key, uh, like this Yale Junior. Don't even know if some of these work. I've picked the two Yales, and I've picked this Corbin. Uh, I picked this guy too. No, I haven't picked the Corbin yet. I have not picked this one, but I picked this one this morning. I cannot read the name on it. I will have to use my um, magnifying glass and look at it real close. There's all these locks. Here's a really interesting American. It's a uh, double-sided key, too. I have not tried picking it. I put a pick in it. It's so gummy. I just gave up. I, I said I got I to gotta soak a lot of these in some uh, cleaner and uh, probably brake cleaner and then I'll use a uh, vinegar to clean up the rust or an acid. I have acid at work. That's really good. Here's a little sleigh maker here. One of those goofy keys too. I have picks for those in my car I think. This is the only one that came with a key and the ad said three of them came with keys. I'm kind of disappointed. It works. It's very rusty, very gummy. This one here is I have no clue. Chicago Lock. Chicago Lock Company, maybe? Anyway, hard to read. Got this cute little guy, too. He's got one of those. This one's been opened with ply, or a screwdriver, it looks like, and tried to pry open. Anyway, other than that, now I just don't, got some of these off of eBay. This one here, I am not sure what kind of lock it is. There is no writing on it, but it's really, uh, these are going to be fun challenge locks. I'm making all these into challenge lock. There's the bidding on it. You see that? Kind of. My flash on. I have my flash on for a reason. My lighting in here isn't too good. Here's an arrow. Looks like it's made by Asa Abloy. Works really good. Make a nice challenge lock out of that bad boy. Look at that bidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, some fun there. This guy on eBay I bought these, these uh, fancier locks from. He has a bunch for sale. Here's a rust one. Never messed with these. I might play with them before I make them into challenge locks and try to pick them. I don't know how difficult they'll be. By the bidding on this one, probably very. But uh, just wait till I do some magic on the inside. They're, they're really going to be fun. Might even be... Uh, Worthy of some of you good pickers out there that can do it in like a few minutes. Like, you know, Jeffrey Post is good. Bronx Lock Picker 60. Um, well, Bosnian Bill, we all know him. I'd like to make one for him one day. <clears throat> but I gotta wait till I can stump some of you folks. I got Jeffrey Post with one of my last lock I sent him. This one here is a Marks key. Mark's lock. Never heard of it. Because I'm new to this. Y'all probably know what it is. Look at that. It's going to be some fun. Everything works smooth. little glitch in one or two of them. I think this... Uh, pardon me. This rust one here has a little click in it. I just opened this like a few minutes ago and I've just checked the keys out, make sure everything worked. And this one has a little click in it as you past 12 o'clock. Look at the bidding on that. That's going to be fun. This might just be good practice for me to pick on before I do anything with them. Learn a little bit about some of these tricky keyways. This one here, if I can get it turned around correctly, is a sergeant. It says Asa Abloy as well. Or did I already show this one? Oh, heck. No, I showed you the arrow of Asa Abloy. Look at this one. That one's going to be a lot of fun. 
Anyway, I've been having some fun. Uh, sending a challenge lock off tomorrow to Gray Hasroot. He won the little drawing I had. And, uh, like I, I mentioned in the comments, I had to make a new queen lock because, well, my other one was using a key that I had uh, modified. I used my normal house key and then I did some filing on it. Um, the lock I sent Jeffrey Post had that same exact key. His worked. This one didn't. Key got stuck. I couldn't get it out. I had to take it apart. I just trashed the whole whole lock and started over with another one of these. Another one of these quick sets. Speaking of which, I got more. I went to the restore. Get on out of there. Got me one of these frickin' industrial, industrial commercial size uh, locks. No keys for these. None. So if I have the ability to make a key for these, I will. If not, they'll just have to go out without keys. I do have uh, quick set keys. I can make locks. In fact, I made up a bunch off of a, I copied my uh, work apartments key and made a bunch just for challenge locks so I'd be ready to go. And this one here is off of one of my cheapies I bought from that sale. Anyway, it's okay bidding, so I went ahead and threw that on there too. I'll just pin them up to match those keys. Okay, so you, you saw the lever cylinder, you saw that little cheapy. I got one of these because I've been wanting to play with a smart key. Shoot, can, can you see that? I've been wanting to play with a smart key for a long time. Everybody says they're really easy to pick, blah, 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 but I'm just interested in their rekey technology, see how that works. Says it's bump proof. I'm going to check that. I have bump keys. I will be putting this in a vise and bumping it before I do anything with it as far as channel locks or challenge locks go. Smart key advantage. Here we go. Superior security. We'll see. I bet it picks just as easy as the rest of them. From what I see, then I got some slodge. Oh, I haven't opened up. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, I just stabbed the box with my homemade pick here. Let's see, I got some sludge. Uh, deadbolts. One with key. And one with handle. Anyway, these are just going to be challenge locks. I enjoy making challenge locks probably more than I enjoy picking getting better at picking but not quite up to where I need to be so you know that's where these little fancy cylinder locks are going to come in cylinder locks whatever you call these damn things anyway they'll come in handy for practice before I butcher them up and make them really ugly anyway guys thank you so much for uh, watching please like and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe I uh, I send out challenge locks to my subscribers and also my Facebook friends. But, you know, it's uh, more fun doing it on YouTube because you guys pick them on YouTube. And I like watching people. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm kind of an asshole. I like watching people struggle on <laughs> picking something I've made. Uh, maybe you're all like that. I don't know. But kind of fun. Anyway guys, thank you again for watching. Please like, subscribe. Once again, be kind to one another because you all really matter. Thanks again.